Muy buenas tardes. Me indica si me puede escuchar, por favor. Buenas tardes. Hola, sí, se escucha. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Bueno, vamos a esperar quizás un par de minutitos mientras los demás compañeros ingresan. Ahorita son las tres en punto y nos queda esta clase va de tres a cinco, que hoy es la sesión número ocho. Y okay, quizás voy a esperar tres minutos, vamos a iniciar a las tres y cinco, que son de ahí tú. Y después vamos a hacer el repaso general de las seis, de las siete clases. Vamos a ver un poco de todas las estructuras. También vamos a repasar un poco el, el vocabulario que se ha estudiado. Bueno, vamos a dar inicio a la sesión de este día, la última sesión del presente a nivel 1. Entonces tenemos un poco sobre la conversación. Esta fue, este es un, va a ser un repaso ¿sí? de las conversaciones, vocabulario, estructuras estudiadas. Por ejemplo, tenemos la conversación entre Michael y Jennifer. Por ejemplo, dice, hi, my name is Michael Ota. 
I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Jennifer, nice to meet you too. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Miller. One more time. Hi, my name is Michael Ota. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry. What's, what's your last name again? It's Miller. It's Miller. Okay, iniciamos. ¿Qué tal si nos ayuda Mr. Daniel siendo Michael y Miss Luciana siendo Jennifer? Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Michael Ota. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what is your last name again? It's Miller. Good, it's Miller. Can you switch, please? Intercambiar. Hi, my name is Michael Ota. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Miller. Good, excellent. Muy bien. Ok, eh, aquí tenemos la frase que dice It's nice to meet you. ¿Alguien recuerda qué significaba esta frase? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. What is the meaning? What is the significado? It's nice to meet you. Es un gusto conocerte. Es un gusto conocerte. Y la respuesta a eso sería... La respuesta como, es sería gusto. nice to meet you too. Ok, como un gusto, encantado de conocerte. It's nice to meet you too. Ok, ¿qué significaba last name? Last name. Last eh, apellido. Apellido, muy bien, last name. Muy bien. Ok, también teníamos eh, nickname. ¿Se recuerdan qué significaba nickname? Nickname. Bueno, nickname es como un, podríamos decir un, un sobrenombre, un disminutivo. Ok, nickname. Nickname. Muy bien. Vamos a recordar un poco el abecedario. What happened here? Por ejemplo, tenemos A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, una vez, X, Y, una vez más, one more time, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Entonces tenemos un poco el abecedario. Les voy a compartir un ejercicio. Un ejercicio para practicar el escucha, el listening con el abecedario. Un segundo para compartir con ustedes la... Voy a compartir con ustedes el siguiente link. Ahí está el link. Traten de abrirlo y desarrollar el ejercicio. Cuando finalicemos, lo vamos, a, lo vamos a desarrollar juntos.
para los que acaban de ingresar, voy a compartir con ustedes un link. Estamos practicando ahorita el alfabeto. El alfabeto. Vamos a esperar alrededor de seis minutos para desarrollar el ejercicio. Y después lo vamos a completar todos juntos. Ok, vamos a revisar el ejercicio. Um, acá está el ejercicio. Por ejemplo, voy a compartir con ustedes y ustedes me indican qué, cuál letra, letra es la que escuchan. Sample, here we go. A. What letter do you listen to? A. A.
I'm sorry? A. A. C. C. E. 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 K. K. O. Ah. Edit. Ah. I'm sorry. Edit. Okay. S. Is it? Good. W. W. B. G. 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 J. 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 D. D. La D. D. Yep. H. H. J. What the? T. T. I. In. Good. Good, Miss. V. 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 F. F. Excellent. U. U. Y. And la Y. Good. Let's see. Excellent. Ten out of ten. Very good. Very good. Okay. Muy bien, vamos a continuar con, eh, okay, for example, how do you spell, how do you spell house? How do you spell house? H. H. O. O. Um, you. You, perfect. S. S. E. E, perfect. Muy bien. Y así de letramos house. Very good. Muy bien. Um, continuamos. Okay. For example, it's, it says, what's your name? I'm Zara Connor. Is that S-A-R-A-H? Yes. Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? Connor. Connor. T O N N E R. Okay. C O N N E R. Okay. Um, esperemos. Si nos puede ayudar, Miss Adriana y Mr. Mauricio. Miss Adriana será la letra A y Mr. Mauricio será la letra B. Are you ready? What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Sarah Connor. Creo que no le sirve el micrófono al mister. Is that Sarah? Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? Connor? Eh, no, it's C O N N E R. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Daniel y a Miss Luciana. Puede ser Miss Luciana, eh, letter A, and Mr. Daniel, letter B.
What's your name? I'm Sarah Connor. Is that S A R A H? Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? Connor? Uh, sorry, C O N N O R? No, it's C O N N E R. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Entonces, tenemos acá un poco de, también de apellidos. For example, how do you spell eh, Sara? Sara, how do you spell Sara? How do you spell Sara? Sara. Is a R S A R A A good muy bien excelente how do you spell how do you spell uh, Catherine Catherine how do you spell Catherine K a T I no, E E R R I N Excelente, very good. Muy bien, bueno, veamos un poco el deletreo y vamos a ver un poco el verb el verb to be. El verb to be. Ok, the present simple. For example, tenemos acá I am Bart. I am with my family. Y la contracción, la forma reducida es I'm. I'm American. You are my friend. You are good boy. You are good boy. Esa es la contracción de you are. He is Homer. He is my dad. Ok, usando la contracción. She is March. She's my mom. That is a dog. It's my pet. And we are we are at school. We are friends. We're at school. Okay, you and your friends are students. You are cool. Okay, they are Lisa and Maggie. They are my sisters. You are your. He is. He's. She is. She's. It is. It's. We are. We're. You are. Your. They are. There. So we have the uh, verb to be. Tenemos la forma del verb to be más la forma completa o la forma formal. Y también tenemos la forma reducida. O la contracted. Por ejemplo, podemos decir I am. La forma reducida sería I'm. You are your. He is his. She is. She's. It is. It. We are. We're. You are your. And they are their. Bien. Eh, ahora vamos a ver la forma negativa. De forma negativa, tenemos I am not from, eh, I'm not British. I'm not British. Tenemos la forma completa y la forma reducida. Eh, she is not Mar March o oh, she isn't my mom. She isn't my mom. Tenemos la forma completa y la forma reducida. Next. We are not from Mexico. We aren't Mexican. Okay. I am not. 
You are not. He is not. He is not. She is not. It is not. We are not. You are not. They are not. Entonces, tenemos la forma formal y la forma reducida. Por ejemplo, I am not. Uh, I'm not. You are not. You, you aren't. He is not. He isn't. Or he isn't. She is not. She isn't. It is not. It isn't. We are not. We aren't. You are not, you aren't, or oh, they are not, they aren't. Ok, tenemos la forma reducida y la forma completa del verb to be en su forma negativa. Ahora vamos a ver la forma pregunta. Por ejemplo, am I your best friend? Yes, you are. Are you my teacher? Yes, I am. Is she your mom? No, she isn't. Entonces, ¿cómo convertimos la forma pregunta? De la siguiente forma. Únicamente vamos a eh, cambiar la posición del verb to be con la del sujeto. Por ejemplo, am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? It is, are, are we, are you, are they. Ok, ¿cómo sería en este caso? She. She is my mother. She is my mother. En este caso, I am, I am Bart. Bart is Bart is my friend. I am negative. I am tall. Okay, I'm not. I'm not tall. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm not tall. I'm short. In este caso sería. We are. We are friends. We are friends. They are Spanish. They are. Spanish. Okay. Bye bye. Bueno, vamos a continuar con la práctica del verb to be. Recuerden que el verb to be eh, significa ser o estar. Es decir, podemos decir yo soy o yo estoy en aquel lugar. Okay. Yo soy o yo estoy. I am. Ok, vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Lo voy a proyectar y ustedes me van a completar. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Oscar and Mr. You're doing it good. Don't be 
They are. Finalizamos el ejercicio 1. Ok. Thank you. 
Ve, ya finalizamos el show uno, exercise one. El verbo to be. Okay, we're going to develop the exercise number one. Okay, it says, I, ¿cuál sería la forma acá? I. ¿Cuál sería la mejor forma? I am, very good. They. They are. They are, <coughs> very good. We. We are. We are, very good. Uh, you. You are. You are. Okay. He. Is. He is. Good. It. Is. It is. Very good. Mary. Is. Mary is. Very good. Louis or Luis. Is. Is. Okay. She. Is. She is. I. Am. Um, I am. Very good. Vamos a hacer de una vez el ejercicio um, dos. En este caso, he is. He is. They are. They are. Lucy is. Lucy is. We are. Are. Lucy. We are. Okay. Are you, you are. My dog is. My dog is. I. I am. They are. They are at school. Tom is. Is. It is. It is. A, pen. a pencil. Good. It is a pencil. Very good. Continuamos. Ok, muy bien. Ahora vamos a practicar un poco más. Ok. El verb to be. El verb to be. Ok, vamos a ir a la página 5 del manual. Página 5. Que lo voy a compartir. Y vamos a recordar el ejercicio A. Complete the conversation with the correct, with the correct word. In parentheses, then practice with a part. Vamos a recordar. El ejercicio, ok, el ejercicio A. Va a tener dos minutos, two minutes.
Ok, continuamos. Vamos a recordar el ejercicio. Comenzamos con... Ok, hello David. Hello Jennifer. How are you? How are you today? Jennifer, she or I am? She's or I'm fine, thanks. I'm. I'm, very good. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry or eat sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, good. Uh, what's your name again? It's. It's. It's David. David Medina. That's right, David. It's this. This is Sarah Connor. This is Sarah Connor. She's or his? She's. She's in our math class. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hi, David. I think. You are. You are in my English class too. All right. Yes, I. I am. I am. Very good. Muy bien. Good. Vamos a continuar. Antes de proseguir al siguiente ejercicio, voy a tomar la asistencia. Y okay, comenzamos con Velázquez Elías. Presa. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Blanco de Presa. Blanco de Presa. Hernández Cardona. Presa. Eh, Alvarado Orellana. Alvarado Orellana. Bautista López. Portillo Genovés. Portillo Genovés. Girón Calzal. Calzadía, Centeno Santa María, Martínez Castillo, Hernández Rodríguez, Orellana López, Present. Ana Pineda, eh, Alemán Cruz, Present. En Vázquez Orellán. Vázquez Orellán. Bueno, continuamos. Um, voy, a, voy a proyectar, perdón. Voy a compartir con ustedes un link para poder practicar el verb to be. Verb to be. Segundo, por favor. Ok, voy a compartir con ustedes este link. Si me ayudan, compartiendo el grupo de WhatsApp para que los demás compañeros tengan acceso. O si puede hacerlo desde la PC o desde acá de la reunión de Zoom, muy bien. Para poder practicar el verb to be. Ok, vamos a dar inicio. 
Okay, okay, let's see. Bueno, eh, Miss Adriana, Daniel, Mauricio, and the winner sería Miss Luciana Alemán. Muy bien. Vamos a repasar las preguntas. Por ejemplo, she, she is my English teacher. Um, are, are the children, children porque es una palabra en plural, significa niños. Y child es niño. Children, niños, child. Um, niño, ok, entonces es plural, entonces utilizamos are the children are the children are the children in the park ok, my sister is a good student my sister is a good student ok, muy bien, aquí todos acertaron ok, Rocío and I are not at the cinema 
Okay, we, I'm sorry, where, where is the doctor? Where is the doctor? The dogs are brown. The dogs are brown. Okay, is he a good soccer player? Is he a good soccer player? Uh, the apples, the apples aren't red, they are green. My father from Peru, he is Peruvian. Are you from Chile? Yes, I am. And uh, let me see, Luisa is at the school and her friends are at the museum. Muy bien. Ok. Vamos a, vamos a practicar nuevamente el verb to be para poder mejorar el promedio. Ok, les vuelvo a compartir um, el link para poder ingresar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, faltan dos. Uno más. Good. Vamos a iniciar.
Ok, let's see now, Daniel, Miss Adriana, Mr. Mauricio, and Miss Luciana Alemán. Now the average is better. Casi el 100%, very good. So we're going to continue. Ok. Very good. We continue. Ok, vamos a ir a la siguiente conversación. Y tenemos... Eh, Wendy, wow, that, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Ellen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Ok. Uh, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They, they are very nice. Una vez más. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Ellen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Um, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Y lo vamos a hacer por... Okay. Two minutes. Okay. Page, página. What page is it? Nine. Page 9. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Page 9. Ya, ya, ya terminé. Voy a comprarlo un poquito.
Okay, we're going to practice. Okay, uh, how about Mr. Daniel and Mr. Mauricio? I don't know if you can read the conversation, please. Si podrían leer la conversación. Wow, what is this? It is a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this book. Okay. Uh, what are these? Their earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you. Rex, they are very nice. Very good. Okay, vamos a practicar la palabra interesting. Interesting. They are interesting. 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 Very good. Una vez más, interesting. Interesting. Very good. Muy bien. Eh, vamos a cambiar yes. rol ahora. Vamos a intercambiar. Wow. What is this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? Their earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos. Thank you very much for your participation. How about Adriana Velasque and Miss Luciana, please? Please, please. Whoa, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. No, open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? Oh, they interesting. Thank you, Rex. They very nice. Excellent. Very, very good. Vamos a, a intercambiar ahora. Wow, what's this? Hello? Hola. Okay, I'm going to help you. It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now, open this box. Okay, Um, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Okay, eh, la palabra earring. Earring. Earrings. Vamos a repetir la palabra earring. Earring. Okay, very good. Muchas, muchas gracias por los que... Uh, all right. Acá tenemos más de la práctica. Okay, por ejemplo, el uso de this is and these are. ¿Cuándo utilizamos this is? When it's singular. When it's singular. And when do we use there are? For plural. Plural, okay. For example, what are these? Their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. What? What? What is this or what are these? What are these? What are these? Okay, very good. They are? They are? ¿Qué sería en este caso? Val. I'm sorry? They are bags. They are backpacks. Okay, good. Or bags, yeah, bags. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Eh, en esto, what is this or what are these? 
What is this? Good. This is a watch. What is, is this? What is this? This is a cell phone. Y aquí, what? What are? What are these? They are glasses. They are glasses. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a practicar un poco. What's these and what are these? Hold on, please. Give me a second, please. Okay, vamos a practicar el uso del this is y el this are. Voy a compartir con ustedes este ejercicio. Vamos a darle un está bastante relativamente fácil. Vamos a darle un par de minutitos.
Ok, vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio ahora en conjunto y comenzamos con This is, this is and these are. This is a ball and these are balls. So we have this is a, a flower. Pues sería, sería acá, ¿verdad? This is a flower or these, this is a flower. Pues sería singular plural. Singular. Singular, right? Uh, these are bananas. These are as plural. Plural, good. Uh, these are dogs. These are dogs. Are plural. plural. Okay, about this is a house. This is a house. It's singular. This is a pencil. Singular, too. This is a dog. Now we have the singular. These are houses. Here. Plural. This is a kite. Here, right? These are pencils. Plural. Good. Uh, these are kites. What are they? Ah, here. And this is a banana. Singular. Singular. Let's see if we got them all correct. What happened here? These are banana. If they are correct. These are A. I don't know what happened, but all of them are correct. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, vamos a ir nuevamente al manual. Okay. Y tenemos esta conversación. Okay. Y dice, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your pores? No, they are not. They are, they are gone. They're gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? No, it's not. Where's your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait, wait a minute. That is my wallet. Okay, is there any word that you don't know the meaning? ¿Hay alguna palabra que desconozcan el significado? Okay, o la pronunciación, meaning or pronunciation. Where are my car keys? Car keys. Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. ¿Qué significa? Or what is the meaning of car keys? Car keys. ¿Qué significa car keys? Llaves. Um, Las llaves del automóvil. Exacto, carros del automóvil. Keys, suena como a beso, solo que es un poquito. Beso es keys, pero llaves es un poquito larga la I. Keys, keys. Ok, vamos con pours. ¿Qué significa pours? Pours. P. Cartera, ok, cartera, muy bien, pero de mano, ¿verdad? Y también tenemos, um, well, let me see. ¿qué significará la expresión? Sí, sí. ¿Qué significará la expresión? Como, como en español, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos, ¿ya ves? Sí. Ok, sí, muy bien. También tenemos la, ex, ex, la palabra wallet. Wallet, ¿qué significará wallet? Billetera. Billetera. Entonces tenemos purse, que es cartera, y wallet, que es billetera. Ok, ¿qué es pocket? Bolsillo. Bolsillo, muy bien. 
Vamos a practicar la conversación. Ok. Acá son, aquí hay tres personas. Ok. Okay, here we go. We're going to practice.
Ok, venimos con eh, la conversación. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Adriana y a Miss Luciana que nos ayuden con la lectura. Yo voy a ser el waiter y una va a ser Kate y, y yo, otra será Joe. Okay, no sé si podemos okay. iniciar. Ok, yo sería Kate. All right. No, where are my car, I'm, car keys? Car no, keys. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. Okay. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Good, thank you. Ahora, Mr. Daniel and Mr. Mauricio, please. La misma dinámica, yo seré el waiter. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. I be there on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joy? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Okay, con la... Eh... Con la conversación. Ok, las preposiciones de lugar. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice? Adentro. O dentro. In. In, right? Enfrente de. In front. Of. In front of. Eh, atrás. Behind. Behind o behind. Behind. Ok, eh, sobre de. On. On. A la par de. Next to. Next to. Abajo de. Under. Under. Very good. Under. Una vez más. Dentro. In. En front. En frente. In front. front. A la par de. Behind. Behind. No. A la par de. Next to. Next to. Next to. Atrás de. Behind. 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 Abajo de. Under. Under, very good. Por ejemplo, these books are in the book bag. In. Okay, the DVD player is. The DVD player is. Next to. Next to the. Television. Television. The map. The map is. Under. The newspaper. Under the newspaper. The chair is. Behind the desk. Behind the desk. The wallet is. The wallet. The wallet. Where is the wallet? Is it next to? Is it behind? Is it in? Is it on? Under. Under la billetera. On. On, on the pores. On the pores. Okay, where where is the cell phone? The cell phone is in front of address book. On in front of the address book. Very good. Okay. Uh we're gonna practice the prepositions of place. I'm gonna share with you a video. Okay, I'm going to share with you a video, a, video, a link, I'm sorry. Okay, we are four. 
Here you have the link. on the
Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver. En la cuarta posición tenemos Mr. Mauricio, Mr. Daniel, Miss Adriana en The Winner, Miss Luciana Alemán. Vamos a repasar las preguntas. Y dice, the bag is... The bag. ¿Dónde está? Sería nobody. Under. Very good. Under. Under. Very good. Next. The, elef the elephant poster is... Very good. Muy bien. Um, the photos between, very good. In front of the desk, very good. Very good. Very good. Muy bien, excelente. Ok, tenemos un buen promedio en esta actividad. Tenemos el 72, muy bien. Ok, vamos a, a participar en el último, siempre relacionado a las prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Un segundo. Un minuto. con este, este link okay, preposition of place remember in on under behind behind
muy bien, vamos a ver la, la puntuación es arriba del 80%, muy bien. Ok, ahora queda un Mr. Mauricio, Miss Adriana, Mr. Daniel y Miss Luciana Alemán. Muy bien, vamos a repasar las preguntas. Y eran, the bag is under, the bag is under the desk, very good. The elephant poster is next to. Ok, the photo is between. The chair is in front of. The piano is in the room. The ball is under. The sofa is between the lamp and the wall. Uh, where is the dog? Above. Where is the owl? It is behind the flower, the flower pot. Is in front of the flower pot. The apple are on the table. Good. Where is the apple? The apple is between the boxes. Where is the ball? The ball is on the box. The ball is in the box. Very good. Bien. Excelente. Ok. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta tarde. Ok. La... la Siguiente, decimos Velázquez Elías. Present. Blanco de Presa. Hernández Cardona. Present. Alvarado Orellana. Bautista López. Portillo Genovés. Girón Calzadía. Centeno Santa María, Martínez Castillo, Hernández Rodríguez, Orellana López, Tejada Pineda, Alemán Cruz, Present. Thank you, Marcelo Miguel Ángel Vázquez Orellana. Muy bien. Bueno, um, ya solo para hacer el último repaso de las proposiciones del lugar. Ok, vamos a pensar. Ok, por ejemplo, where, are, where is the TV? Where is the TV? Where is the TV? Or where is the television? The television is behind, pero no sé cómo. Okay, the clock, behind the clock, very good. Where are the chairs? Where are the chairs? Where are the chairs? The chairs is under the table. Are under, one more time. The chairs are under the table. Okay. The chairs are on the new table. Where is the sofa or the arm armchair? The sofa. Where is the sofa? The sofa is on the table. On the table. Very good. On the table. Where is the telephone? Where's the telephone? Under the desk. Under the desk. Very good. Where is the radio? Where is the radio? In the garbage or in the trash? In the trash, on the garbage can. Very good. Where is the umbrella? The umbrella. Where is the umbrella? Behind, behind the photo or between the photo and the wall. Okay, good, good, excellent. Okay, vamos a detenernos acá. Okay, esta, vamos a finalizar la sesión de este día. Muchas gracias por la asistencia y por la práctica, okay? Eh, nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Goodbye. Take care and enjoy your Saturday. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. B